The hardware allows us to take these visions, these ideas about these new products, and make it all real. Imagine a computer that allows you to put your images anywhere, and you can interact with things as a combination of the real world and holograms. You have a bunch of different systems that need to come together in one big symphony. Every time you think you understand it, it's like peeling an onion. There's suddenly another layer of things which you suddenly realize, oh, yeah, of course, we have to figure that out now. We don't have room for error. We don't have room for drift. We don't have room for those normal things that happen in a device. So it's working with these people across the world and bringing it all together into this brand new product. We envisioned an all-in-one device that is untethered with built-in batteries, hands-free, and floating audio. You have to come up with a holographic processing unit because you're constantly producing data every single millisecond. Visor lens is so complex. While it looks very simple and pure, it needs to accommodate so many requirements to see progressive content. The audio components need to take in all of that information about where is my head, where am I looking, so that your brain knows that there's something real over there. The enclosure wraps around the user's head to provide great away distribution. We have so many sensors on this product. To read all those in real time and to do that in a very power efficient way requires the power of what they develop with the new version of Windows. We need to get the hardware just right so that we can sort of unleash that creativity in the world. I think we have great ideas. I think when we get it out to developers, we're going to get hundreds of great ideas. We want to get it out to people and show them, hey, this is real and this actually works. Now, let's see what you can do with it.